Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope. I hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have a great day today, by golly. All day. Good coffee morning, good tea morning, good biscuit morning. Let's get the k- k- crack lacking. <clears throat> Don't get stuck in sticky places. What do I mean by that? Well, Something happens and we're in a little bit of an emotional pain and, and we get stuck there and we think life is never going to be good again. Oh my God, life is terrible and how am I ever going to deal with this? And it's all temporary. Just remember, it's all temporary. Life is like tides, the high and the low. It's high and it's low. Think about your own life. Go back over your life and think about how many times you went through some very difficult times in your life. And, and it passed. You get to the other side of it. And then you had good times. And that's the thing with good times, too. They're here for a while and they pass. Life is constantly moving. So don't get stuck in places that are hard to be in and, and think that your life is never going to be good again because it's not. Uh, and, and especially when people say something about you. People say they're talking to you and they t- say something about you that you, maybe you don't like or doesn't feel good. you got to remember this about that, that that's their opinion, and that's all it is, is their opinion. It's how they think. It's what's in their mind. It doesn't have a doggone thing to do with you. It has everything to do with them and how they think and what they believe. It really has nothing to do with you. What do you care what somebody else says? Well, you shouldn't do it that way. You should do it this way. If that's what works for them, good. Let them do it. That doesn't mean you got to do it. Not at all. I say, hey, if that works for you, do it. I'm going to do what works for me. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't listen to people and take suggestions and try something different once in a while, but I don't take what other people say personally i just don't i don't get stuck in that sticky place uh it's their life and their thinking and their way of being and doing and acting i don't have to get stuck in that just because they don't like the way i'm doing it doesn't mean i'm doing it wrong just means i'm not doing it their way and that's all right because i'm not living their life i'm living mine so i do things my way Uh, so just don't get stuck in them sticky places. There's so many sticky places you can get stuck in. Get stuck in the sticky place of guilt or shame or remorse or resentment or any of that kind of stuff. And when you do that, life seems difficult. It seems hard and it's just in your head and it's weighing heavy on you. There's no joy there. Get unstuck. When you get stuck in your vehicle, do you just sit there in it or do you call and get some help and try to get out of there? Well, I call and get some help if I can't get out on my own. And it's the same with that emotional stickiness. If I got some of that going on and I can't seem to get out of there, I call somebody and have a chat. Talk to God about it. Talk to my wife about it. Talk to somebody so I get unstuck and get out of there and can get back into the flow of life and get moving again. It's like that vehicle. If you're stuck in your vehicle and you got to get somewhere until you get out of there, you're not getting anywhere. You're going to stay right there. So you get some help and you get stuck and you get moving again. It's the same with the emotional garbage. Talk to somebody. Help, let them help pull you out of that sticky place and get moving again. You'll feel a whole lot better. Life will seem better. Uh, it's just a much better way to go anyway. So don't get stuck in sticky places. That's the thought for the day. I hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Over.